What's up gamers, collectors, and hobbyists? It's David here from Torchlight Games and Hobbies, and I have... JJ. Yeah, and we've got something really cool. Uh, this kind of showed up unexpected, but it's very exciting for us. This is the new uh, box set for the... Uh, release of release US4. Of, exactly, that's it. That's why we have them here. Something. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we just cut the tape off of it. We're gonna open it up, take a look what's inside, and here we go. Oh. Hard work! Yay! Uh, we have we have some rats, which I'm excited about, and we have some not rats, which other people are excited about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think they're called Stormcast Eternal Stormcast, or something like something that. Like that something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So, right off the top, just a ton of plastic. Uh, well, this, this base pack has got to be like 70 bases in there. Uh, at minimum, mostly yeah. the rats. This one, I think. Yeah. Mm. This okay. one, I think, is for some of the Stormcast. All right, I'm going to hand whatever um, Skaven sprues over to you. Excellent. And yeah, uh, we'll just make our own little piles. Sure. Here's some more Stormcast oh, man. for you. Oh, man. Uh, this is the one that I like. Something fell off, but it's actually just part of the sprue, so it's fine. Uh, uh, we have more Stormcast. rats. This one is a bit stuck together, so I'm going to try and unglue it. The uh, rats like sticking together? Always, except yeah. for when they don't, at which point it's someone else's fault. Don't break his his halberd. Do not yeah, break his halberd. You. I didn't break the halberd. And then um, this these this is the terrain, terrain features. Yeah, you got a you got a, a door. You got a, a bell, and uh, walls. Walls. Yeah. Walls. Uh, dirt yeah. piles. So there's a guy there that's not having a, a great time right now. Which one? Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's not having a good time. Yeah. Not, not a good day on that. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> All right, and underneath that, more bases, of more course. Bases. Yeah, we've got the probably ones. the uh, Lord on this striker. Yeah. Uh, then we have the uh, new cavalry mount base nice. for the Skaven. Okay, well, before we go on to the books, let's just lay all of this stuff out and uh, see what we have. Yeah. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sprues for Stormcast. I think there are 24 models, if I'm not mistaken, and got about nine for wow. individual uh, sprues of Storm uh, of Skaven. Sheesh. I mean, to be fair, uh, the Skaven, I, if I remember correctly, I outnumbered the Stormcast like almost two to one, mostly from just Clan Rats alone. That's uh, that's uh, based in the box. How about in the lore? Oh, <laughs> there's no use. Like counting. one or two million to one. One or two million. Okay. All right. At That's minimum here. Yeah, but for gameplay balances, we can't can't give out a million models. Look, right? I, no, we can't drown people in plastic. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let me let me pull up the the sheet, and we'll know exactly how many models. Okay. So I was right on the ball. We have 24 Stormcast Eternal models. Uh, it looks to be uh, I can't even count how many heroes there are. Uh, there's a bunch four, of heroes. Four heroes? Yeah, yeah. four heroes. Uh, and then for the Skaven, there are a total of 50 models, okay? And then four terrain features uh, and two range rulers, which are probably still somewhere in there. A little deeper in that in box, there. probably. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, stack these back up and see what else is in the box. What's in the box? Yeah. This one's really solid. So you can see it's actually like a different color than the other plastic. Yeah. It's like chunky. Yeah, good detail though. I remember back in the day when they first started coming out with like terrain kits. Yeah, like like not the old ruins, but like the generation after that. A lot of them yeah. were like not very detailed, but this is like yeah, I've seen those ruins get, in there. They're like almost a millimeter deep. Yeah, we're starting really to get good. the same level of quality from their terrain as we we are seeing from their models, which yeah, is lovely. Always great. It's lovely. Yeah. AOS always has better terrain too, right? Uh, I'm opinion. biased. Yeah. Rats. Rats. Okay. Oh. Oh man. Okay, Did this is heavy. There, David? Yeah. yeah. So like. Uh, uh, I think that's the rule book. I think it's cake. Yeah. <laughs> Get a knife. Yeah. To make hey, your hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna try to unseal this. Uh, do you want me to like maybe we should just reveal the knife that's under the table? Oh. Is it time for backstabbing yet? You were. <laughs> it's always time for backstabbing. <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh, 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 that's beautiful. Yep. Look at that. I like that. That's Here. pretty red. Yeah, 
All right, why don't you do this one, but do it a way that Skaven would open that. Like a Skaven would open. Okay, all right. I, I was thinking more like, ah, but like, you know. Okay. I could be civilized. Sure. Okay, so there's the core book. And this is, I think this is the chunkiest core book AOS has had. It's probably got a couple more pages than the last edition. Uh, it looks like they've separated a few things out. Maybe it's oh, not. It's another but, book. Okay, uh, we'll get to this one. Yeah. But let's quickly flip through the core book. You know. Contents. Oh, yes. Ooh, look at that one. I always love seeing models painted better than I can paint them. David. I got a poster of that. Yeah, I'd love a poster of that. Yeah. More lore. All right. More lore. Yeah. The Mortal Realms. Okay, so for anybody, ooh, ooh, for anybody who's not familiar with the setting of Age of Sigmar, oh, look at that. Now that unfolds as well. Hold on, oh. David. Ta da. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, so I, yeah, corn. it gives you a little bit about each, each faction. faction. There's the yeah, 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 yeah. bringers of death. Yeah, that's case. that's what I'm gonna be rolling for this edition. Well, yeah. these guys, more specifically. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just painted this guy. You yeah. did? I did, did yeah. You? The, the uh, what do you call him? Uh, the Gothazar Harvester. Yeah, the one with the tiny little skeleton that helps him pick up. Bugs. Yeah, oh, I didn't even notice that when <laughs> I looked at the box and I built it. I'm like, oh, this guy. He's got it going on. He's he's like he's like picking up skulls and yeah. he's handing it to an arm behind him. Yeah, and it's and like handing it to other arms yeah. and then throws it in the pile. That's <laughs> great. Fire and Jade. Yep. So what's this about? Uh, I don't think I know full, uh, everything in that uh, in that book, but what I believe it is is uh, kind of a narrative event uh, based off of the the uh, Skaven bursting through the the actual realm and having Skaven blight now exist essentially on every plane of existence in AOS now. Uh, and so we have Fire and Jade, which unfortunately I, I haven't had a lot of time to read into it, but I believe it's uh, it's going to be a narrative campaign revolving around that. Until I actually read it, I don't know. Well, we will have time because we're still, <laughs> still a couple closed. of weeks from release, right? And we're still closed. So pre-orders this weekend, and there's yep. a two two week pre-order. So this game is technically not released until June 13th. So plenty of time to read through this. I do see Spearhead there, and I'm pretty excited to be trying out you know that format of the game uh unfortunately i don't have a lot of time to paint so i've but, only I mean, kind of Fox, put together you've only put together the spearhead yeah exactly i've i've only put together the bone reaper spearhead so yeah. that's enough to get me started playing in this game love to get back into it yeah uh, yeah and i see here we go there's uh starting off with the spearhead, Stormcast yeah. Eternal, uh spearhead uh oh, profiles I mean, there's actually a, i think this is the, the know, let's spin this around so you guys can see because we'll have all the time in the world to read this yeah Okay, so this is kind of, uh, yeah, it's getting started, you know, introduction to what this campaign is. I think it uses, yeah, it uses most of what's in this box, too. Yeah. If you want, I guess they're, they're spearhead sized, I yep. would say, right? I believe that was one of the intentions behind this box to be able to, two players being able to just start the spearhead. Right so, out of the, right out of the box, uh, right. It's a really good buy for any two people getting into the game or even just a, a friend uh, that you want to get into the game that might be interested in one of the two factions. Uh, a good a good thing to go split these on. So. Yeah. Okay, so we have some uh, Or if you're crazy like me. Profiles. Uh, <laughs> Just oh. all of it. This thing? Yeah, we want to take a look at that. Yeah, what is this? let's do it. Oh, I didn't... Uh, so it's also sealed, so yes, it is. be careful with that. Yeah, but get a good look on that art. Yeah, I right. gotta say that oh. they really... Uh, yeah. I really like the, the, the art. And quite frankly, oh. uh, I absolutely adore the idea of it taking, like, uh, what is that, 12 rats to take one storm cast? Uh, that like, makes me quite happy. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're gonna win. I think... <laughs> right, it's... Bias! Bias! <laughs> Huh. Okay, give me that knife. Hold on, I got that. Hold on. Ah, Skaven Claws. Hey. Oh, okay. Yes. There we go. So, yeah, this is everything that you're going to need for the what? building. We've got instructions here for twists, and we've got uh, kind of essentially the uh, various different ones uh, and things like that. We've got building instructions here. Ooh. 
Uh, and I'm just going to pull that and lay that over top of the book. And we have the tiles in which you can play on, which has got to be one of my favorite parts of this box. Whoa. Uh, the fact that it comes with this, you can just set up and play literally anywhere. Let's just open this up. And I'm going to be very careful because I like to break things and I don't want to do that because David would fire me. Uh, that's hearsay. <laughs> Heresy, whatever. I'm not afraid. I promise. Uh, I have got it, but it is a little bit large. So this is the size in which a spearhead box is a uh, uh, game. Let's put the other side, just so it doesn't fade into the background. Yeah, fair enough. That was a poor choice on my part. That's. Oh no, I broke something. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Else. There's too much in this box. It's great, isn't it? We're just going to cover up the yeah. instructions. For viewers at home, if you get your hands on this box, make sure you clear off your entire kitchen table before unboxing it. Oh yeah, I'm just going to take this out so at least flat now. So here we have the spearhead box, uh, which I have to say is absolutely lovely. Um, Would I, I be correct to assume that maybe these are objectives? Uh, probably, uh, uh, okay. very likely. Uh, it's uh, AOS in general it can be a very free flowing game. These are going to be the correct placement for a uh, mm. uh, objectives uh, on the spearhead, or at least the indication of where they could be going. But because of how free flowing and na uh, the the nature of the game is, uh, you they could just be neat little things on the floor. Uh, but no, they are a good indication of where you put general objectives. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there was also this pack of cards. Yeah, which I'm gonna lay out. So this, this says General's Handbook. 20, 24 to 25. Yep. Um, so I guess it gives you the layout of how to play the battles. Yep. Season rules. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Right? And oh, then, yeah. uh, here we go. Here's the battle plans. Here are the battle plans. So, now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Uh, and a little a little tracking sheet. Yeah. What if these are these are double sided too. That's yes, they are. So that's twenty four. And here's a well, no, they're not. I believe they're the oh, same well, games, sorry, but these right, are right, suggested right. placement for terrains. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so here we have the one that looks like it's meant to play on this board. This board. Okay. Because uh, we have the objective in the center, and we have the one two, and then you have the possible objectives placements. Uh, now I believe this is also, uh, it can be either played on the larger side or the smaller side for this, for either spearhead or a larger size of game. Uh, just uh, something to note in the upper uh, right hand corner, we have where it comes from as well. Really nice. Uh, the year that it, we, we started doing this. So this would be uh, S2, which would be the season two. Seasons. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, well, I think, I think that is everything in the box. Um, I'm pretty excited to get into it. I have not played a lot of Age of Sigmar in Oh, several years. Uh, I have I played Age of Sigmar back, I think, around second edition, uh, and I took a break during third. Um, and uh, I think now is the time to kind of get back into the game for me. Uh, I'm lucky that I have guys around me who probably uh, already, you know, scanned through all the rules online and already pieced together how to play the game. And maybe we'll give it a try out this week in the shop. Yeah. I um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, so this box will officially go on pre-order this Saturday. What we are doing is we're going to be doing a midnight pre-order. So 12 a.m. Saturday, June 28th. Uh, yes, 28th. 28th. I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. Uh, where are we? June, sorry, 29th. 29th is the Saturday. So our listing on our website will go live at midnight on Saturday. So that is the midnight between Friday and Saturday. Um, so be sure to check that out. We are always doing our 15% off MSRP um, and anything over 150 is free shipping. So obviously this box is, is free shipping. The MSRP is 320 uh, Canadian. Um, so our price is gonna be about 270, 272, okay? So yeah, keep your eye out for that. Um, I'm really excited to start building just this stuff for fun. I'm gonna play my Bone Reapers, but I think I'll build the Stormcast. And I, I, I know, JJ, you're probably going to build and play those Skaven. Um, but once we have that together and we've got the rule book, yeah, what do you absolutely. say to a game? I'd, I'd love to. Yeah. Uh, 